Hello everyone. Yes, I am back. I'm still your girl from Keaki Dele Bello. I've been extremely busy with work, the family, acting, directing, writing scripts, being a beautiful mom, a wife, all in one. But I'm grateful to God. I can't complain. Yes, juggling all these things can be very tiring, but many are called but few are chosen. So I remain a grateful being. Thank you, Lord. So, finally, I became a director. Yes. Yes, I've been directing TV shows, dramas, but this is my debut as a director of a feature film. Your Excellency. It was wonderful all through, I must say. Let me start from when I met Antimo Abudu. I was on this show called Screen Divas. It's a reality show treating domestic violence and abuse against women. We had Uche Jumbo, myself, Rita Dominic, Kate Henshaw on board. And that was my first time of meeting her officially. I've been seeing her, you know, hello ma and the rest. Then I enjoyed the experience, the fact that she was so sweet to us, you know, encouraging women. I really admire Antimo, I must say, because she encourages the up and coming talent. She celebrates women. She, she's wonderful, I must say. So when she talked to me about Your Excellency being a director and a lead cast, at first I thought of it, this is really, really challenging. How am I going to juggle my scene one studio, all our TV shows, being the head writer, producer, with directing an Ebony Life film? So I got home, I spoke to my husband, and I was like, that's a good one, take it up. I said, darling, I'm not ready to direct a movie. I told you I'm gonna start with my own movie, on Morgetto the Saga. But he said, no, go ahead with Your Excellency. And so I picked up the script, read it, met with the writer, met with the producer, executive producer, touched one or two things, tweaked the script, and we came up with the final edit, and we commenced filming. <laughs> First, I think we had the reading with the cast, then we started filming. Filming was tedious. So guys, let me tell you a secret. For the first time, I am going on set early in the morning. Hmm, after how many years? Because I run Simone Studio and I'm the head writer, producer, director, actor, you know, in Simone Studio. So most times I tell them, do not give me early call time. Make sure it's noon. But this time around, I'm directing for another film production house, you understand? Ebony Life. I have to respect the call time. There is no madame here. I get to the set as early as 6 a.m. I'd gone to the script a night before, go through the shooting order again, pen down my short list, um, discuss with the DOP, have time with my actors, and boom, we start filming. It was tedious, acting and directing. I had to remember these characters' lines, even when I'm acting. I have to watch this character's expression, even when I'm acting. So, multitasking is actually my thing, but sometimes it can be very, very frustrating. But, like I said earlier on, I'm grateful for the opportunity. So, big shout out to Ebony Life Films and to Moabudu. Thank you for the opportunity to work on Your Excellency. It was wonderful all through. Yes, let's talk about the times when I almost exploded, you know, tired, angry. Let's do it, let's do it. No time to waste. And times when I'll laugh, be happy, make jokes so we can all be happy and work in a very conducive, healthy, environment then we walked on the ajadi dance i heard a lot of people love the ajadi dance and kudos to uncle akin louis it was so wonderful on set working with him was great the chemistry was wonderful he gave it his all i must say all the actors did very well no airs around them they all listened to their director they're wonderful actors wonderful people to work with um Osasi godalo um alex akubo me and to Shafi Bello, it was wonderful all through. Everybody came in prepared, you know, and 
we all had fun. So creating the Ajadi dance was quite entertaining for me, hilarious. We had to tweak some of the steps, you know, we, um, we had before, you know, change some things, make it easier for Uncle to get into it. And Auntie Mo actually wanted that dance. I must say, working with Auntie Mo, I learned a lot. She's, she understands what she wants. She's a great executive producer. I think she should get into directing. She is good. She knows what she wants and she's there to support you, to encourage you. So shout out Auntie Mo. Then I also work with Heidi, Heidi, oh, head of production. She is wonderful. There, making things work. We're working hand in hand, like a family. Isioma, the AD was great. Stoka, the DOP, the gaffer, the sound recordist, the second unit, cameraman. All through, we, we, we had fun. It was a great experience for me. Then the days I was off set, I had to go back to write Jennifer's Diary. You know, I must not leave my thing. I went back to write Jennifer's Diary, came back again on set to work, act, direct, go back to my family, my children, and also be a wife, a good wife. When I started Your Excellency, I had to bring in my husband to just encourage me, to give me the support, you know. He said, you can do it, and I'm glad we did it. And the movie's out. So while filming, I had my birthday. I didn't really want any party. I just wanted to work because I knew I was going to be working then. But boom, I was surprised by Auntie Mo and the cast and the crew. They gave me this lovely cake. I loved that cake so much, so yummy. We had fun, took pictures, we ate lovely food. It was fun, I must say. It was a wonderful experience working with Ebony Lives on Your Excellency. I will always love to work with them again. Thank you, Auntie Mo, for the opportunity. And let's fast forward to the premiere. Dun, 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 dun. I look so good. Yobani, Iyon, Yere, Lobe. But let me praise myself more. I love my dress. It was beautiful. Thank you, Medlin Boss, for that beautiful piece. I loved it. My hair was on point. My makeup was perfect. Zena Baziz, to the rescue. It was wonderful. I enjoyed every part of it. Um, the accolades was just too much. Oh, you did so well. Oh, lovely. Oh, it was great. Thank you so much, my fans. Thank you for loving the movie. Thank you for appreciating my work. And watch out for Omogeto the Saga. Produced, written, directed by moi. So keep your fingers crossed. We're filming soon. Omogeto the Saga. Remember Omogeto 1 and 2? years back now she's coming back as what keep your fingers crossed so stay tuned to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe click on the bell icon to get notified when we upload any video i promise you i'll upload more